welcome back guys to a trucker's life and uh yep we're loaded and already headed south headed down to south carolina uh it was a little bit of an ordeal there at that plant man it was it was just like the uh the pickup numbers weren't matching up and it was just a, it was just a big old mess but we got loaded we're rolling now lesson of today in the state of New Jersey, the state of Pennsylvania, and um, New Hampshire, and I don't know what other states, but I know California also is like that. We are not, not allowed to idle our trucks at any time. Only, well, during unloading operations is, is okay because sometimes we have to use our pumps to unload and uh, well, of course the truck has to be on to be able to do that but in other circumstances like if you're sitting there resting you're sleeping you cannot run your truck can you so can you imagine guys 100 degree weather outside but you can't run your truck i mean there's no what's the logic to that but you know it's well their logic is that we're polluting the air right but we have all these emission things on these trucks now that supposedly it's not supposed to uh, pollute the air as much so I mean that's why we got this right here look it says it right here California I mean certified clean idol and it has a California emblem on there now the regulations are followed mostly from what California puts out there and that's why I have to use this other liquid here or fluid it's called death fluid aside from diesel so that's an extra expense now to combat that to get past that in these states, they have what is called uh, th these uh, things right here called, uh, look at the state trooper back there chilling. Uh, these things here are for, to run, to be able to hook up to your truck so your idle, you know, so your AC and all that stuff. I mean, that that's AC for your truck basically while you're parked. Now, as you see, nobody even uses these things really. Like these are all, let's see what this one looks like. And see what it is it's just basically like it's got all your your connectors for your cable your cable you know it's got it's, it's like i mean like the idea is cool behind the whole thing the idea is real cool but nobody uses them and uh, a lot of these trucks have apus now which are mounted on the side this my truck doesn't have that and what it's for is for so you won't run your truck now you don't want to run your truck for several reasons you know now with these new systems because the filters that they have in here now uh get clogged up while you're idling so you have to get an extra maintenance you have to get cleaned up you have to clean up also and it costs about a thousand dollars to get those things cleaned out and uh i don't know if y'all can see it on, on my truck but the exhaust doesn't come from the engine straight to the mufflers anymore it goes through the system Let's see if y'all can see it right here okay so this system right here is basically a big filter so you see how it goes the exhaust goes out of there and then it actually comes through the actual exhaust of the truck right well those filters tend to clog up and it costs a lot of money to either replace them it's like four thousand dollars to replace them on this truck and uh to clean them is about a thousand dollars so think about the extra cost the fuel that we have to put extra to deal with that so i mean it's just something that that idea is actually a good idea but there's not enough incentive to use them because you also have to pay for this stuff um i don't know about here i don't know did it have like a let's see if it had a now i don't see that it has like a credit card i'm pretty sure you have to pay for it ain't none of this stuff free now truck stops also i don't know if y'all noticed maybe about 10 10 ish years ago they were these things that were on top of the uh the parking area they were, they were all on the top and what it was is also air conditioning systems that would hook up to the side of your truck some companies started paying for that but then it, it never caught on and you know it is what it is it, that's what happened with that but like you can see up there i don't know if you can really tell there's a compressor up there you know it's an air conditioning system so i mean which is kind of cool because you can hook it up in your truck it's not making any noise 
you, you know everything's quiet you can watch your tv and you can do everything you want to do you know with uh with that system that i just showed you but you know we don't we don't normally use them and these states up here kind of want you to use them but if you see if i wanted to use them it doesn't even work anyways so what's the point right so just a little lesson guys so you guys can you know really see the the struggle that we have out here i mean it's positive with the negatives you know what i mean you get to travel and see the world or my bad not the world the united states but you have to deal with problems like that problems like that that are there you know waiting to just mess with you um not all cops are but there's a lot of them that but that's what they do they like messing with the trucks which i get it you know that you got to be safe out here you got to be able to uh to keep everybody around you safe so you know that's just part of the deal if you want to be a truck driver you got to deal with all of this so it is what it is but guys i'm gonna get back on the road um and hopefully we'll get as far as we can because i'm running out of my 70 hours also so I only have like eight hours left on my 70 and it's like 10 hours to get to my destination so i'm gonna either have to get a reset before then or i gotta look at my clock and see if i'm gonna gain any hours at midnight uh not some tomorrow so we'll see what happens and i'll kind of explain that to you guys more on a further on another video so you guys can understand how that whole hours of service and all that work well i'm out here sweating up a storm oh big boy just got through eating that I don't really like fried chicken, but that's the only thing that kind of seemed good at this rest area here. But it is what it is, guys. Let's get on down the road. Let's keep on being safe out here and keeping everybody around us safe and get this product down to where it belongs. Today, we are going to get to go through tunnels if there are any along the way because we don't have hazmat load. Yes, don't have to do all that extra detouring that I did last time. But yeah, guys, let's do it. Let's get it.